tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. with animation. Hi there. I recently thought about something which did not work. I'll show you what I mean in this specific case. I just create any kind of geometry. I go to FX, N particles and create a soft body from it. And I duplicate it, make the copy soft and have a weight of 0 0.5. If this is too quick for you, there are other tutorials uh, where I describe exactly this. So when I apply this now, uh, I have a soft body which consists of n particles. You see the n particles down here. These are li The little dots are the particles. I should actually have gravity and I do have gravity and you see the nucleus which provides gravity has a gravity of 9.8 and it has a gravity direction down etc. So why does this object not go down? Well I ask this question right here. In the Autodesk area under forums you find Maya and here you can post your questions. It's not a support forum really, it's a forum for discussion and many things are discussed just uh, without a solution and this question here is the question I posted just the other day. Hi, I wrote, I was wondering why a soft body, not the legacy version but the one with the nucleus, does not react to gravity. With a default goal weight of 0.5, it should feel attracted by its original geometry, but also by gravity. Why don't the N particles pull the soft body down to a certain degree? Well, the answer came straight away, I think an hour later or less, and M. Speer was replying and he said, Hi, ignore solver gravity is enabled by default. Go to particle shape dynamics properties and just uncheck this. Let's repeat this. Ignore solver gravity is enabled by default. So we're ignoring the solver gravity although the solver is in the scene. We need to go to the particle shape, open the section of dynamic properties and uncheck the ignore so solver gravity box. And I wrote, oops that's simple, thanks. We'll post this in one of my next tutorials. And here we go. Okay, where is the ignore solver gravity? It's in the particle section, not in the nucleus. It's not general for the whole scene, uh, which you could do as well by just disabling it. But um, we need to go to the particle here, which is called copy of disk one particle. And now we're supposed to go to dynamic properties when we open this and indeed ignore solver gravity is here. When we uncheck this we have an animation. It's swinging because it wants to go back to its original geometry but as you can see it's lower down than before because gravity is pulling the particles. And we can make this even more obvious and visible by selecting this and then we go to N particles and we paint soft body weights tool. And this tool in many cases does not work straight away but it works after some trial and error. And I want to paint black just here in the middle. So now when I run the simulation again we have a really deep drop down here. That's the, the effect of the gravity. And because I painted it black, it has no influence from the goal side, but only influence by the gravitation. I smooth this out just a little bit, make the brush bigger. So this is the trick about the gravity, which you can ignore or not. 
Well, I often get questions here in this channel and in most cases I cannot answer them when they're too technical because uh, I don't just don't have the time and maybe the capacity. But the Autodesk area for Maya is just that forum is just amazing and this is just one more example of how nicely it works. Have a nice day. Bye bye.